One choice you need to make when you're planning is whether you're going to have a 20 amp circuit or a 15 amp circuit. If it's, if it's going into a kitchen, it's got to be a 20 amp circuit because you have a lot of heavy current devices there. In other locations, it depends on what you're going to use it for. Anything that draws a lot of power, you're going to want 20 amps for. Usually something that produces heat, you'll want the 20 amp for, like a, a toaster oven, a microwave, that's why they're in the kitchen. If you're going to have an air conditioner, you want a 20 amp. If you're going to have just a radio or a lamp, then the 15 amp would be more than sufficient. So look at what you're, you're going to be using it for, and then, just, then you can decide if it's a 20 amp or a 15 amp that you're going for. The difference between a 15 amp and a 20 amp receptacle can be seen just on the face plate. The slot in the side represents a 20 amp, where this is a 15 amp receptacle. The innards of a 20 amp would be more heavy duty, rated for 20 amps where these are rated for 15 amps. So make sure you use the right size receptacle for the wire that you're using.